right, found the GoPros. About to head over to the gallery. We're gonna try this, uh, setting up the telescope to try to get customers to come into the gallery. Gonna go over and pick up Nana. So, got new flyers. So this is the one side promoting the app. And now it's double-sided, so it also has the tools. So, dang pigeons pooped all over my window. right next door to the pigeon house. These people over here have a bunch of pigeons and they feed them and they fly all over the place and crap all over everything. Here we go. Rental cars are returning their cars. All right. So Nana texted back, I'll be waiting downstairs. But she's never there. Always in the elevator. here. Yeah, when I was taking the pictures of the moon going down, yeah. and it was sprinkling. So, those clouds don't look very good, but I haven't had any sprinkles on them yet. There's the gallery. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Yep. setting the telescope right over here and then there's the moon and Venus is up above it all right so we got the telescope set up looking at Venus up there and the moon is going down there so each night, so the moon is about there, but it's behind the clouds right now. So each night it'll be a little bit higher and more full each night. So here's the telescope. So my gallery is just down the street that way. There's Nana. Say hi, Nana. So yeah, this thing is a beast. This is the 11 inch. So normally whenever I would street perform in Waikiki, I would use the 8 inch, but this one is an 11 inch diameter telescope. And let's see, look inside. 
It's not gonna work. All right. All right, guys. So last night when we wrapped up the telescope, I just threw everything inside so that I could take Nana home so I didn't keep her. Uh, so it's all a mess right now. So I've come over to uh, to arrange it, make it look good. So we'll check back in after I've cleaned things up. All right, gang. So uh, looking a little better now. I've cleaned it up. I uh, put the telescope together for the most part. I uh, didn't extend the legs so it doesn't fall over or anything while I'm not here. I didn't put the eyepiece on or the cables or anything. But uh, so, yeah, that's the telescope we were using last night. That's the big 11 inch. <clears throat> I also have an 8 inch, which is a lot more manageable, that I might use that one instead from now on and, until things get visible from in front of the gallery. So last night we were down the street there uh, because this building here at the Prince Hotel is in the way right there. But eventually the moon is gonna be moving further and further this way and then across this way. So I'll be able to set the telescope right out in front on the sidewalk there. Uh, but yeah, so this is the gallery, the Flying Turtle Gallery. So that's sign up there it says the Flying Turtle Gallery uh, because of this picture here it's one of everybody's favorite pictures so that's a picture of uh, the Mokes over at Lani Kai and then the picture of the turtle was taken at Hanama Bay and I superimposed that into the picture so it looks like he's flying everybody loves that picture and then there's this one here this was that day that uh, Hawaii you see right here the Hawaiian Islands this is actually a satellite picture and on this day um, the Hawaiian Islands were surrounded by three hurricanes so this one had come through this one and then this was following behind it so I sampled the colors the blue the yellow and the white from the Van Gogh painting and uh, colorized it using those colors and then overlaid the city part onto that. So call that one Stormy Stormy Night after the song about Van Gogh, uh, Starry Starry Night by Don McLean. So this is one of my top sellers here. This is the full moon rising over Diamond Head. So there's a lot of photographs of the moon rising over, the di over Diamond Head, but most of them are fake because in the fake pictures, the moon is like over here somewhere. But this is the furthest this way that you can get the moon to rise over Diamond Head while still standing on land. In order to get the moon any further this way, you would have to be in a boat and then the boat would be shaking. And this was a one second exposure, which is actually a long time for a photograph because a photograph is usually like one 125th of a second uh, so this was a full second so if you were on a boat though that, that would have been rocking it's also hard to get the moon properly exposed while exposing the rest of this you know the landscape at night so you need a long exposure to get these details and then the moon is too bright so it's overexposed so if you see the ones where you, you see this and then you see the moon where you can actually see like those dark mare on the surface of the moon you know that that's been touched up and it's a little, probably a little bit fake so but what a lot of people do is they wait for the moon to rise and up there so they'll have the the glow on the water but then they'll get the moon when it's up here and then they'll drop it down in line with this and uh, so those are fake this one is real that's totally real so I got some other pictures, turtle pictures. This was my trip to Chile uh, in July of 2019 to see the solar eclipse, total solar eclipse. And then I flew over to Easter Island and got this picture of the Moai with the large Magellanic cloud and the small Magellanic cloud. Over here is Orion, there's Orion's belt. And this is one of his feet. So I think Rigel would be over here and then this is the other star. So Orion is rising upside down there. And this is still incomplete. This uh, pegboard is not supposed to be here. 
uh, one of my friends was supposed to help me. We were going to make these uh, these blocks to put onto the back of the picture, so we could just put a, put screws in here and put the pictures on there to where they hang. Like uh, these pictures here, they have a way of mounting it on the back so that when you put it on the wall, it stands out from the wall like that. So you get that kind of 3D effect so these don't need a frame or anything. And so uh, he was supposed to help me make these little blocks. Uh, I bought a router and we were just going to route a groove in there and put a screw. Uh, so. We haven't gotten around to doing that yet. So yeah, um, so this is the gallery, this is the podium. Um, try not to use, not use that anymore. Got a new air conditioner installed. Uh, the lady who I pay rent to for this uh, charges me for the electricity, so I try not to run that too much, but I was working, so I got that going. I even bought a refrigerator to put water in, cold water for trying to get the people to come in from the street to come uh, check us out. We could offer them some cold water because it gets pretty hot walking out there. Like if you're walking to Alawana Shopping Center from here. So we did all this. This didn't even have a door on it before. So we, we installed that door. So I got the computer screen running there. Got the A-frame sign out here. So there it is, the Flying Turtle Gallery. It's hard to see during the day, but there's a, uh, a monitor there that is uh, uh, running uh, the photographs that I have that are for sale. Then I got the, the Christmas lights. Gives it a little bit of a glow at night so that I don't have to leave the lights on because, you know, she charges me for the electricity. But uh, another computer screen on this side, and so it's running... Uh, this one here is running the best 250 pictures that I took uh, during my tours. So it gives you an idea of what the tours are like for Custom Island Tours. So yeah, uh, the sign up here, uh, that's mounted from the inside so you can't read it as well. I've got one to go on the on the outside, it'll be more uh, readable. But it's kind of hard to get up here to, in order to install it. But it says, for gallery inquiries, Call 808-670-5881. That's my personal cell phone number. And then for tour reservations, call 808-216-1410. That's my reservation line, which is answered by Nana. So, so yeah, this laptop here is running the uh, photos on that monitor. This laptop here is running the photos on that monitor. And so yeah, that's it, the Flying Turtle Gallery. Uh, so originally, you know, it was uh, to sell my photos, but then the lady also said that I can also sell my tours out of here. So we do private tours of the island. They're customizable, so you can uh, tell us what you want to do, speak it over, uh, talk it over with the, with the driver when they pick you up. And uh, so you got up to eight hours to do whatever you want to do. It usually ends up being a Circle Island tour, so you get to see the whole island in one day so it's a good idea to do that tour like your first or second day in Hawaii um, and you get to know the island and then you know what kinds of things you might want to go back to see so I also have this app the out of bounds tour which takes you to all the places that tour companies aren't allowed to go to so there are some rules and regulations against us going to certain beaches and state parks and things like that so this app, it's a self-guided tour. It uses the GPS to guide you where, uh, you know, to the stops. There's 30 stops. Once you get to the stop, then you can press play on the narration. It's a text to voice, so you can you can listen to that and you can read along. And uh, there's also some some, uh, some guidance that I've put in there, some auto narrations uh, while you're driving where. It lets you know what's coming up ahead and, and what you need to do as far as like turning in and parking and things like that. So the Out of Bounds Tour. Available both on iPhone and Android. Alright. So yeah, we uh, stand out front. 
uh, trying to hand out flyers and things, uh, trying to get people to uh, either come into the gallery and check it out or uh, uh, to book a tour. So yeah, that's it. The Flying Turtle Gallery, Custom Island Tours.